I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. This will be using Hong Kong old style scoring, which is the easiest to learn. If you haven't learned how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. Also in there is a link to this PDF with scoring and how to play the game. So you're welcome to download that. There's also a link to a great set that you can buy if you don't have one of your own. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out to the left of these platforms. They're built into walls. We're going to say it's the East Round and we need three Fawn minimum to win. I'm going to deal 14 tiles for East and then 13 for South, West, and North. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for the dealer, also known as East. They have no flowers already, that's a fawn. This is gonna be a long road to haul for East because they have mixed suits, no pairs, If they were to play all chow, which is all three in a sequence, which they are set up for here, potential, 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 all potential chows, which are three in a sequence, that's one fawn. And they have no flowers, which is two fawn. But you gotta have three fawn to win for this game. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Since they have the most dots, as far as the numbered tiles, I think I would hold those first and then probably start get, getting rid of the offsuit tiles. See how the drawing goes. Long road to haul there. Let's see what we can do for South. Two flowers, including their own. East is one, South is two, and they have a two flower. So they have a fawn already. We're gonna get two replacements from the wall. They got another flower, but we have to wait to replace that after everybody's gotten their first flowers. So we'll hold that for a minute. At the moment, I'm thinking half flush with cracks. They're in a similar situation as East. They have no pairs. Half flush is three fawn. Let's see what we can do for West. West has a flower, a two flower. They're in a predicament too. They have a pair, but they have nothing else. Well, they have potential chows, but all chow is only one fawn. Chows are cheap. Well, I shouldn't say that. If you mix suits with chows, that's gonna be a cheap hand. If you play chows in one suit, that's gonna be a much better situation because a half flush is three fawn and one suit is six fawn. So in those cases, playing all chow is okay, but mixing chows, one fawn. That's not good when you have a three fawn minimum. Two flowers. They're in seat four. These are not going to help them. Let's get a replacement though for those. Okay. Let's see what we have here. They have two pair. Still 
a tough situation. They've got lots of chow potential, but mixed suits, which is one fawn. If we have a three fawn minimum, they have a lot of work to do. If they draw well and pair up, maybe we could have them play all pung, all three of a kind, but they have a long way to go. They only have two pair. So let's replace this last flower for south. Six bam. Okay, so now they have a pair in there. One pair though, that's not good. And they have the same number of bams and crack. Uh, nope, they have one more crack than they do bams. Okay, we're ready to start the game. Everyone's got their flowers. Let's start by discarding. Actually, maybe we should keep the nine crack and play honors. They do have honors here. Let's get rid of the five crack. And we can draw for this player here. Now, for this player, you would think, well, why not chow it? They need to have three fawns somewhere. Right now, they have one fawn. If they played all chow, that would be two, but we need to come up with one more fawn somewhere. If we chowed with that five crack, I think it's too early. I think I would rather draw seven bam so now we have equal number of bams and cracks let's get rid of the two dot and see how things go and let's draw for west six crack now they have the same number of cracks as they do bams let's get rid of the two dot so i'm thinking get rid of the dots and see what happens there. Let's draw for north, west. Okay, that'll be good if they if we can get them to a half flush. That's not their seat win, we, this is north. But honors, which are winds and dragons, can help you get to a half flush. Let's discard the one crack. And we can draw for east. One bam. Okay, we want to draw dots, I think, for them or or honors. We did get a terminal. That's a one and a nine. Maybe we can work on that. Let's discard the eight crack. I'm gonna put this by the bams though for now. Okay, eight crack was discarded. Nobody can take it. Let's draw four south. South, okay, that might help them get to a half flesh. Let's get rid of the dots and draw for west. Red dragon. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Discard the four dot. And we can draw four north. Oh wait, four dot. Okay, here we go. Do we wanna pung it? If we pung it, we would be dedicated to either dots or all pung. There's only one more I think I'm gonna let it go one time. There's one more four dot. Let's see what happens. Eight dot, okay, all pung. Now we have three pair. So let's see if we can recover and get that other four dot. Otherwise, this can be the pair. Let's discard the two crack. I was hoping to draw bam so we could play a half flush, but now that they have three pair, we can try for all pung. They need two more pair as, you know, for potential pungs. Any pair is a potential pung. Let's draw for east. Okay, seven bam. Now they have four, they have five bams. Okay, so let's focus on bams because they have one more bam than they do dots. They have no flowers, which is one fawn, and all chow. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. We gotta get them to a half flesh or all terminals and honors. Let's draw for south. Nine crack. Okay, nine crack. Let's get rid of the six dot and draw for west. Four bam, four bam. Let's 
get rid of the eight dot. And draw four north. Let's pung. We'll commit to all pung. So we can discard the six crack. And draw four east. Let's make sure nobody can take the six crack because we've got cracks here, but they're all ch potential chows. You can only chow from the player on your left. Nine crack, there's a pair. We got honors here. So we have to decide. Let, let's go ahead and try for bams or honors. Five dot. And we can now draw four south. Green dragon. Okay, now we have to decide. They have their own flower, which is one fawn. All chow would be two fawn. That's not enough. We have a three fawn minimum. We do have a chow here, potential chow. Let's get rid of the two bam and focus on cracks because there's more chow potential in there. And two bam was discarded. Let's draw four west. Three crack. One, two, three pair. All three of a kind, all pung. That's three fawn. Let's see if we can get them to all pung. Nine dot. It's okay to mix suits with all pung. You just don't want to mix suits with chows because that would drive your score down by three. Let's draw four north. One crack. Discard. Drawing four east. Eight bam. Okay, now we're getting closer to that half flush now. These single honors though are not going to help. We need to pair up. Let's discard the six dot and draw four south. Seven bam. One, two pair. That's not going to help. We need three fawn somewhere unless we try to pair up. Let's hold and let's hold those pairs and see if we can get another pair somewhere. Nine bam. If we can pick, get two more pair, we could switch them to all pung. So we threw a nine bam. Nobody can take the nine bam. One dot. That, that would be a discard. And we can draw four north. One bam. That's not helpful though. We've, we've already punged a eight dot, even though we have some chow, a chow in here, that's not going to help them because we're already committed to mix suits with pungs. Let's go ahead and discard this one bam and draw four east. One bam. Okay. We can get rid of the seven dot. And that was the last tile in wall two. So we're heading into the third wall, middle game. We're going to draw for south. Nine dot would be a discard. And let's draw four west. Four bam. There's a pung right there, pung. They have no exposures. So let's hold this pair because they could still play all pung maybe. Let's get rid of the one crack. There's already two out. And we can draw four north. White dragon. That could be a nice potential there if we could pair up. Let's discard the seven dot. And we can draw four east. Five dot, discard. And now let's draw four south. Three dot, we'll discard that. And drawing four west, north. That could help them get to a half flush. Okay, we have to decide now. They have their they have 
a two flower which is not there so right now they have no score at all um, they have three they have two pair and a pung but they're mixed suits so we would need another pair in here to help them get to all pung which is three fawn otherwise we're five discards from a half flush now we do have a potential pung potential or a pung and a potential pung or we could split this up and do a potential chow here and there's a potential chow uh, let's see four 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 we need to discard We need to get them to three fawn. Let's discard the seven crack. We can still go with all pung. If they draw more bams, we can play half flesh. Let's draw for north. Six bam. Oh, again, that's not gonna help. We probably should have stuck with a potential half flesh. Okay, we need to discard. There's a two bam out. Let's go ahead and discard the two bam. And we can draw for east. Three dot discard. Drawing four south, one bam. That's not going to help them at all. Let's discard the one bam. Now for east, they can pung that. Let's have them pung that. Three of a kind right there. Pung the one bam and I think they have enough here to go with a half flush let's discard the nine crack and then nobody can take a nine crack there's a little child potential there but we don't we can't call that nine crack so let's draw for south green dragon okay that is a good tile if we can get a pung that's a fawn right there any pung of dragons is worth a fawn so let's discard pair pair oh we got to decide okay uh potential chow potential potential one two three four blocks all we need is a pair in there let's go ahead and get rid of the bams and let's draw four west okay six bam we drew we discarded a six bam if we chow that, that will leave an isolated five. I think we're better off to draw and maybe go for a pung instead. Eight crack. Let's discard it. And draw for north. Five bam. We keep getting chow potential, but no pungs. Not helpful. Let's discard the three bam and draw for east. Now east can chow that. So we have a chow there. Let's get rid of the nine crack and draw for south. Seven crack. Okay, seven crack. Finally, they have something to work with. Let's get rid of the six bam again. Six bam. Now up here, same thing. I think we're better off to wait for pungs or half flush. South. We'll keep that and get rid of the five crack. Because we can still use this as a pung if we pair up. We're going to draw for north. South. Okay, we need, to, we need to pair up so we can pung. Let's get rid of the five bam. They're committed to pungs. They've got two pair there. Let's draw for east. White dragon, nice. Okay, now we have to pick something here to get rid of. Uh, there are no honors out right now. Let's discard the west. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw for south. One dot would be a discard. Drawing for west. Four crack, that's not helpful. Let's discard. Drawing for north, three bam. We threw it already. 
Well, somebody did. Oh, yeah, we discarded and somebody chowed. East. Let's draw for east. 9 bm. Okay, that's good. Now we have two potential chows here. Let's discard the north. And we can draw for south. 8 dot. That's already out in a pung. We can discard that safely. Let's draw for west. East. Lots of nice honors, but single honors are not going to be helpful with a half flush. Let's discard a six crack. We need to get some pairs in here. So now we can draw four north. White dragon. Okay, there we go. Now, west and north are out. Let's go ahead and discard the west. And draw four east. East drew an east. East is their seat, and it's the wind of the round. Let's go ahead and discard the red dragon. Nobody can take the red dragon, so we're going to draw for south. They drew a west. That's already out by two. Let's discard that and draw for west. Two crack. Discard. Drawing for north. Nine dot. That's a discard. We can draw for east. Green dragon. Okay, let's see what's out. There are no east out. There are no green dragons out. Let's just discard the green dragon. That would be Pung for south. Pung. So now we can throw the red dragon probably. Let's see. Actually, we're trying to get them to a half flush. Maybe we could pair that up. Let's discard the seven bam. Now, up here for west, let's chow. We can chow that. So we have a pair. If we're chowing, we don't need the three crack now. Three crack. If you chow in one suit, you need to be in that suit or you're gonna, you're gonna lose three points by mixing chows in suits. So we threw a three crack, let's draw for north. Six dot is a discard. Let's draw for east. Four flower. So they just lost a fawn because they had no flowers. Now they have a four flower, which is not theirs. Four dot, that's a discard. Let's draw for south. Seven crack. That's a good tile for them. So we have isolated honors, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, three, four, five. Okay, it's looking better for them. They just need a pair. Seven bam, they're getting closer. Seven bam, nobody can take it. We're gonna draw four west. Eight crack, that's a discard. Eight crack, nobody can take it. Let's draw for north. South, they paired up, paired up a south. Even though that's not their seat wind, they can pung it. You can mix suits with pungs just fine. We're going to throw the six bam. So we need to pung, 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 pung. Something in there has to be the pair. So six bam was discarded. Now we could chow it here, but that would leave two isolated tiles. I'd rather stay with two potential chows or a chow and a potential pair there. Let's draw. Nine dot, discard. We're gonna draw four south, four flower. Replacement, three bam, that is a discard. Now three bam up here. If we take that for a chow, I think that would hurt. They have a chow out already, but they have a pung and a pair here. We still need to pair up. No matter what, they're gonna have to pair up. I'd rather stay concealed and see if we could pair up. Seven dot. Not with that draw. We are heading into the last wall. End game.
If you are four or less away from winning, you should play to win. If you need more than four tiles to win, you should switch to defense. This player is two away. This player is two away. This player is probably more than four. They should switch to defense. This player is two away. So this player should play for uh, switch to defense. These other three should play to win. So we're going to draw for east. Two crack. Playing to win. Up here, two crack. We can chow. Let's chow that for them. Chow the two crack. And we can discard the red dragon. It's already been thrown and nobody took it. So they are now ready to win on a south. It's risky to be ready to win on an honor because a lot of people hold honors, as you can see. It's better to be waiting on a number tile. If we can swap this out with a number tile in one of these picks, we'll be better off. Let's draw four west. Okay, we drew a five crack. Neither of these are helpful. Let's throw the three crack. And we're gonna draw four north. Four crack, discard. Drawing four east. Five dot, discard. Drawing four south. Two crack, okay, let's swap it out. Let's see how many two cracks are out first. There's one, two. There are two out and there are no souths out. But somebody may be holding those souths. Let's discard the south. That's a pung up here, pung. And we're gonna discard the east. Okay, now we're gonna draw for east, two dot. Drawing for south, seven crack. Okay, now we, let's just see how this shakes out here. Five, six, seven, pair or chow. We have one, two, three, sevens, and there's a seven out, so that wasn't helpful in that case. We need a two crack to win. Let's draw four west. Red dragon, they paired up. So that could be their pair. Let's get rid of the five crack. There's already two red dragons out, so this could be their pair. They have a pung, pair, pair, and isolated tiles. They have a chow out. We're gonna draw four north, two bam. That's a discard. Either way, let's see, they have two pungs out. We've got pairs, we don't need any of these. Two bam. We're gonna draw four east. Six crack is a discard. Six crack, let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna stay put here. Let's draw three bam, drawing four west oh yeah we got to stay put here we go we need to pair up one crack that's a discard drawing four north one dot is a discard drawing for east three dot discard drawing four south two bam it's a discard we'll draw four west three crack Drawing four north, north, north. I don't think that's gonna be helpful. North, there's one out, seven bams. There's one out, two out. Let's throw the seven bam. Either way, they're still set for pungs and a pair. Let's, let's see now. Let's chow, seven bam, chow. Because now they're ready to win on a five bam or an eight bam. We'll discard the east. So they're ready to win on a five bam or an eight bam. Six dot. 
drawing for west, nine crack, drawing for north, east, that's going to be discarded. There was an east discarded a few minutes ago. And we have two more picks each. Two players are ready to win. Green Dragon. That's a pung out already, so that's a good safe discard. We're going to draw four south, one dot. Drawing four west, four crack. Drawing four north, seven dot. Drawing for east, last pick for east, two dot, discard. Drawing for west, or south, drawing for south, west. That would be a discard. We're going to draw four west, nine bam. That's not helpful. East was thrown, that's a good safe discard. Nobody wanted it. So now we're going to draw for north, last tile. North, oh, look at that. They got all their pairs here. Now we just need to pick a safe discard. I believe north has been thrown at least once. North is out once. Four dots. There are two four dots out. I think that's going to be the safest discard. And we had a wall game. Nobody won. And this player is ready on a 5-BAM or an 8-BAM, they must all be out for 8-BAMs. They're in exposures. They're in two chows and up here. Then we have, so these two were blocking each other, 8-BAMs, white dragons, and here's the 5-BAM up here. So, yeah, we had some blocking going on. This was the only player who was at least close, but there was a two crack in a chow and two two cracks in, in, in discard piles, and they couldn't swap out. And if they had kept that south, they may or may not have ended up with it because this player was playing a half flush and they had one. wall game. Sometimes it feels like a waste of time, but it's really not a waste of time. This is really great practice, especially if you're new to Mahjong. You can practice decision making with each pick and discard, playing four hands at one time. That's a lot of lessons learned. Give it a try yourself. If you have a set at home, let me know if it helps your decision making and your confidence. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do, so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.